What's going on everybody? Flannel Gun Guys here today. We've got a few projects. Uh, the first one we're going to work on is a Ruger SP-101 357 5 shot revolver. We're going to do a grip swap on this. The idea is it comes with a factory rubber grip. It's okay. I mean, it's certainly a grip, but it's not preferred by most people. So we're going to go with the, uh, the Hogue One Piece wood stock. So you'll see it's right here. Today's uh, production is sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> so uh, oh, any Nick Saban fans in the house, I'm not one myself, but he's pretty good and he's sponsored by Coke, so are we at the Clannel Gun Guys here. So, all right. Uh, that being said, we'll move on. Uh, Cut! Are we done? <laughs> The Hogue One Piece Revolver Stock. Now, I already opened it up, but it comes in a plastic container like this. And with that, you'll get this label with all the instructions and, and information on the back. Also comes with an instruction manual. Now, the one thing that's unique about this, this grip can actually fit several Ruger pistols. So, you know, the instruction manual will have some videos with the Ruger Red Hawk, some with the GP100, some with the SP101. We're gonna work with the SP101 today. And Hogue is a really good brand, to be honest. I mean, I have one on my uh, P365 and one of my shotguns. But now, yeah. something to note, you can get all different kinds of custom Hogue grips. Yep. This one has the stippling on it. This one has, it's, it's kind of a light walnut brown. It only has one finger groove. You can get them with up to three finger grooves, a variety of different finishes. They don't even have to be the wood grain. They can be black or gray or even have like a pearlized look. So get on, you know, Hogue.com if you want to get your custom grip. You can, you can actually make them custom on the website. It's gonna cost you some money though. Like be prepared to spend up to $200 for a grip if, if you want something super custom. This here was about 70 bucks, you know, 70, $80. I think I got this one actually on Amazon, but this is exactly what I was looking for. Basic walnut classic revolver grip. And then it also comes with this little adapter, which is a grip screw. You know, we don't necessarily know yet how that's gonna work, but we're gonna see when we get in there as to how this fits into the gun itself and attaches the grip. Okay. I guess we get started here, right? Sure. So you guys see this uh, screw right here on the on the grip. You just need a flat, uh, yeah, flathead slotted tip to uh, unscrew that. Let's see how hard it is. We have never taken it off yet. Oh, that was super easy. Was it just loose? <laughs> I'm used to guns being super tight right out of the box on all of their uh, screws, bolts, nuts, castle nuts, <laughs> barrel shrouds. <laughs> it's probably a long screw or no? Um, no? Okay, you got it out. There it is. Here is the screw. It's kind of a short, shorted, short threaded one. No, I the do have the post. manual for the gun here if we need it. But. Yeah, it's rubber, so it's going to be sticking, right? It's going to be actually these plastic things. The plastic side plates of the, the grip come out as well. I'm sure they have custom things like that that you can swap them out with. Well, yep. oh, we will also tell you that uh, this pistol is definitely not loaded. So, oh, you've yeah. seen me handling it and moving you all know, around. We got all these people out there that think that you got to show them in the video specifically for them that the gun's not loaded. We can't do it off camera, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll just keep our finger oh, off the trigger. Okay, so that, all right. So, what, what that, just happened? So, this was a pin that popped out of here. Okay. Um, I'm not really certain on what the function of that is other than oh, holding the grip on. It doesn't really yeah. seem to do okay. anything. It's probably there for... Doesn't fit more. Okay. That's where the screw went through. Oh, okay. But anyway, here's the rubber grip. So inside of the packaging, you're going to get this stirrup, stirrup pin and stirrup screw, right? Uh, you're going to need this to, it, to install it on to the grip of, or the handle, I guess we'll call this the handle of the uh, Ruger SP-101. And it's going to go right into this hole, take out the screw, and then the screw is going to screw the grip onto it. So Andrew, or so one thing you have gun to do guy over here will do it. Is when we pulled this out, it had this pin in it. Now, that came out. So we're gonna assume that stays out. With the stirrup that came with the grip, it also has a similar piece. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that they're exactly the same size, but they're pretty close. And so what that, what, what you have to do here is, you're going to slide that piece, you're going to pull it out of the stirrup, 
and you're gonna put it in the hole. Now it's gonna move, see? Watch, I'll drop it, go right through it. So you're kinda gonna have to, it's a little tricky, you kinda have to hold it in there. Then you're gonna take this stirrup, and you have to loop one end on, and it is flexible, it will bend, just be careful not to, don't pull too hard to bend it, bend it. Then you're gonna get it on there like this, okay? It's gonna have that motion, because it's made to swing. Reason being, if you look down here in this grip, you're gonna kinda go down and then curl in. And you can kinda see how that is, because there's the hole on the bottom of the grip. This stirrup is made for Hogue to fit several different grips. So, you yeah. know, like there's certain, there's other holes drilled on it and stuff that you're probably not gonna need. Uh, but now we can pull that screw out of the bottom. So we can just unscrew that, because you can't put it in there yep, with the so screw So take out there. the screw. The screw did kind of help us like hold and guide it on. So now it's wise to leave it on. We're ready to ready slide to take the take grip off. on, okay? But a few things about this. You kind of got to <laughs> make sure that this bad boy here isn't looped around the wrong way. You got to get it kind of in there. And then, see, there are some channels here you're looking at. There's two channels in the grip. You kind of want to stick it down in. Did that work? Okay, I think that did work. Yep. So find those channels, and then the grip will... Did it line up now? Uh, I can't really see in there. You got a, uh, a light that we can shine down in there? Now, one thing you're going to notice before we tighten this down, you've got these, you kind of have some fitment issues. Now, that's pretty common for wood grips, unfortunately, to fit just perfect. Just take there might be a little gap right here. Feeling? I'm going to assume we're lined up. Let's see if we get some tension. Yep, see if you can thread that on. I'm going to need a smaller uh, line. No? Okay. Seems like it's going on, right? Yeah, I can't tell you that. I need a smaller screwdriver. Like one for like gla eyeglasses even. Yeah, that will probably work. So we got a uh, skinnier flathead because you're going to need to get in there deep. Okay, so that, that, that little opening that we had, that little port that was showing itself, that went away when we tightened it down, which is good. On the back, you've got this groove back here. Now, there's really no way with a wood grip to make that perfect, unfortunately. You know, you could have another SP-101, and that, that gap could be bigger or smaller. You know, it could fit differently. You know, you're, you're free to look at any reviews. Hogue is probably one of the better fitments you're going to find, um, but that's a pretty common gripe is, hey, my grip's a little... Uh, the fitment or it wobbles and whatnot. You want to be careful because the, the screw seems to be a very soft metal. So do not use a power tool and do not over tighten. <laughs> but that looks like uh, the yeah. grip is on there pretty solid. Now the one thing I'll say, <clears throat> this was the factory grip it came with, this black rubber. Okay, sorry Ruger, this sucks. The rest of the gun's great. Once you have this Hogue grip on here, man it really, really just gives you an awesome grip on that firearm. You feel a lot more confident. The hand feels more ergonomic. And, you know, I'm a fan of wood. Derek is not a huge fan of wood, but I think the wood just looks really pretty. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to... It's for the record, I am fine with wood. I just, <laughs> I just like the grippiness of looking a Looking forward to getting some uh, gun oil, you know, and, and some weathered and, and just looking like it's it's really been had years of use. And, uh, you know, again, firearm is not loaded, but when you grip this gun and then you pull back on that hard, you know, stiff trigger pull, and you feel that snap, it's satisfying. It's satisfying. So, <laughs> but let's go ahead and let's let's show them close up. So we were talking about a um, a little bit of a gap that you could see between the, the body of the the gun, the firearm, and the grip. But once we tighten that screw up, it went away, right? So mm -hmm. that looks uh, a lot cleaner, a lot better. And then uh, Andrew was mentioning this fitment up here. Where there's a little bit of a gap, but I think it's, I think it's fine. And we'll see after we shoot the gun. We have not shot the gun with yeah. the new grip on it. Um, and then what we were saying was use a skinnier screwdriver to fit in between the the hole here of the grip because you need to get in deeper to seat that screw in all of the way. And then your left, you've got your grip with your screw, which looks like Derek put it back in. And then yeah, I just didn't want the, you to lose uh, it. I guess we, yeah. You're gonna have this little cylinder left afterwards, so. You know, keep those together if you ever want to sell okay, that. Yeah, you on. can try and sell that. Anybody want this grip? Never been used. <laughs>
Um, Hogue also makes rubber grips, which will have the exact same ergonomics and feel of the wood grip other than it's rubber. So um, if we end up shooting this and we really don't like how it feels in our hand with recoil on our 357, excuse me, 357, then we could always swap out to a Hogue rubber grip. And those are only about $25. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, you know, Cabela's, local gun store, online, you name it. Yep, okay. Anything else? I think that's it, right? That's a grip swap on a Ruger SP-101, and, uh, you know, keep this in your nightstand when those All bad right. guys go bump in the night. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and comment and like it, and subscribe. If you don't like the video, what do you do? I don't really care. Hit the thumbs down <laughs> button twice. <laughs> You're taller, so uh, yeah. you kind of get cut out of here. I do. That's why I wanted you at the end, but... Yeah, you are at the end, though. You're cutting your head off, too. Move there it up. is, right there. Move it up a little further. Let's see what you Yeah, but I'm like crunched down. Let's get it up. Move it up a little. Yeah. It's slow. I don't see it moving. Give me the intro. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, you're the star of the show. This is your gun, so you do what you want. Andrew was mentioning this, this fitness. 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 Yeah, fitness up here.